in uh, an earlier video, we explained how an absorption fridge works. Um, what I'm going to do here is just give you a few tips on how to maximise um, how your fridge works. As mentioned, uh, the fridges are independently tested from the manufacturer to an international standard. That international standard means that the fridge cooling cavity will maintain five degrees at an ambient temperature. This fridge that we're looking at is a T-rated fridge, T being tropical, which, which means that at an ambient temperature of 43 degrees, uh, this fridge will have a five degrees cooling inside it. So how do we maximise that? When the fridge is installed, we've got up the top here the condenser. So the condenser is where the ammonium gas is turned back into a liquid. It's really important that there's a good flow of air over these vents. If you have a look at a lot of vans built um, since about 2013, the bottom vent in the fridge will be quite a large one where the top will be a smaller one. So the idea of that is if you could imagine standing in a doorway and opening the door just a little bit, there's a good flow of air coming through and the wider you open the door, that flow of air reduces because the space is bigger. So what we've got is a, a lot of air coming in and a smaller vent at the top. So that creates good airflow over these, uh, over the condenser, which turns the gas back into a liquid. So when this is built and put into your uh, caravan or motorhome, it's important that the wall isn't too far from the condenser because the air that comes in, we don't want it shooting up here. What we want it to do is come over here. So the wall of the van uh, can be here. If that can't be the case, you can put a little, defle a little deflection plate in here. And what that will do is force that air to go up and through the vents. So that's the first thing you need to make sure to get your fridge working properly. The other thing, as we mentioned earlier, is that through this absorber down the bottom, you'll see that it's on slight angles as it weaves its way down back. Um, so that uses gravity to get the liquid of uh, ammonium back down into the canister down here. Now, if the fridge isn't level, that gravity isn't going to work as it should because the liquid is trying to flow down, but the van isn't level, so it'll end up pooling here, and that's why your van needs to be level. Another important thing is that when the fridge is actually installed into your caravan or motorhome, that a wool insulation is put around here, and that any of the air that comes up here can't come into this section here, because again, it won't be doing its job. We've got to get that air flowing up through the condenser so it can cool down here. So this needs to be well insulated and vented off from inside your caravan or motorhome. Before you head off, uh, a good idea the day before or the night before is to turn your fridge on and put the thermostat onto maximum. Now that will get your inside temperature really cold. When you're on gas, or 240, that's the most efficient way to cool the fridge down. The 12 volt side here, um, which is this element here, that really will just maintain the fridge's temperature while you're driving. The idea of a 12 volt element in your fridge isn't designed to run off the battery in the caravan or motorhome. What it does is it uses a lot of power and if you hooked a battery to that, you would flatten it probably within an hour or two. The idea of this is that it's connected and wired to the, your vehicle's alternator, which can generate enough power to um, work the boiler, um, to have the absorption fridge work the way it should. As the ambient temperature changes, so will the temperature inside the fridge. So if you're living in Tasmania and you're driving up to Darwin, as you travel through the country, you will notice that if you left your fridge um, 
on a temperature that was set when you left home in Tasmania, uh, by the time you get to Darwin, you'll be finding that you've got to turn it up a bit. Um, but the good thing, as a T-rated fridge, this fridge is designed to have a fridge temperature of five degrees at an ambient temperature of 43. Thanks for watching, have a great day. Pearls are the centre